first cell we're going to be observing is the plant cell, and we're going to be looking at that from a leaf cross section. Here it is on scanning power. Not much detail to be observed, but you can see the structure of the leaf. Here it is on low power. You can start to see uh, the different cell layers, and we'll be looking at cells in this second layer from the top. And finally, here it is on high power. Clearly cells in rectangular shapes are visible. Again, we're looking at the cells in the layer second from the top. Here's a still photo of that same video. Cells second from the top, very rectangular in shape, are the ones you'll want to label. Our next slide is the generalized animal cell. This is how it appears on the scanning power lens. Very few cells are actually visible because they are so small. All you can see is the general structure of the tissue. This is the animal cell on low power. Again, individual cells are difficult to make out, but they are becoming visible. This is the still frame of the animal cell on low power. And you can see the individual cells here. There are many. This is the animal cell on high power. Zoomed in a great deal, you can actually see individual cells with individual nuclei and structures. Next, we'll be making a wet mount of our own cheek cells by smearing them onto a slide. The key here is to twist the Q-tip back and forth. Drop of water, set on the cover slip. Here's the cheek cell, or one cheek cell. There are many pieces of debris on the slide, but at the end of the pointer is a cheek cell on the scanning power. My video for low power didn't turn out, so we'll skip straight to high power. This is the cheek cell under high power magnification. And here's the still photo. Finally, we'll be looking at human blood. This will not be a sample that you will need to draw a diagram of, or that should be included in your analysis. This is scanning power. And this is low power. You can start to see individual red blood cells, as well as small purple dots that represent different types of white blood cells. This is high power. The red blood cells are clearly visible. They look like little donuts. And the white blood cells are also quite visible as the kind of purple misshapen cells. 